what's going on guys welcome back to my page i'm about to do um 2020 car maintenance because it did um the rear brakes um further down last year coming towards the end of the year i'm just gonna be doing um the front brake pads and the spark plugs um we got the four-way we got some people we got some brake fluid, we got some brake cleaner, we got the spark plugs, we got the brake pads. We got a wrench right here, the 10 socket, 14 and a 12 extensions, and a socket with a 3 8 for the spark plugs, with a 5 8 socket right here. So what I'm about to do, I'm going to take both front wheels off, I'm going to jack the truck, the car up. And then we'll get straight into it. I'm using my cell phone, so bear with me. And I'll give you all the instructions on how to get it done. Also remember when jacking the car up at the driveway, most likely you're going to be on a slope. So always remember to pull it on the handbrakes up to lock the back wheel from the car rolling back. So before jacking the car up, I make sure to break my 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 lugs They're loose so and then i go to where jacking the car up and i try to make sure that i get the jack right here so they can have some place to grip while i jack the car up this is basically what it's gonna look like now after jacking the car up you don't really need much space And because I have the brake, the hand brakes up, the wheel are locked in the back, so there's no rolling back. So it stays up in the air, even though it's on a slant. So after jacking up the car and loosening the bolts, I'm gonna take all the bolts off and take the wheel off. So I can get started and take in the, um, the brake pads apart. After taking off the brake pad, I'm going to turn the steering wheel so it could be facing me. So now that I have the wheel turned, I'm going to go towards taking these bolts off. As you can see, I'm using a 14 to unlock this bolt right here. So. It's spinning right here, so I'll have to get the next one to hold this. This might be a 17. I might be a little bit bigger. One moment. Sometimes an adjustable wrench is good. For a situation like this, there's two bolts in the back. So I'm going to hold the back bolt with the adjustable wrench. And then I'm gonna hold, so, and then it's broke. As you can see, it's now loose. And I'm gonna do the same for the top. And now it's loose. So after doing that, I'm gonna take the bolts out. This one is a little tight, so I'm using the arm um, the wrench. Sometimes it get tight if it's in there for too long. Now that 
is off. The brake pad is off. We got access to the pads. The pads are not really bad. But um, since I already got the brake pads, I'm gonna change them anyway. And just so I don't get the floor dirty, I'm gonna get some mat right here. Get a bunch of mat. Fold it up together. I'm gonna put it right on the knee. As you can see, like right there. I'm gonna get the mat. I'm gonna get the mat and I'm gonna put it right on the knee, like right here. And then I'll go towards the brake cleaner. Towards. It. And the match is simply so that the concrete does not get dirty. So I, this is the old brake pad, and as you can see from right here, that there's a lot of um brake pad left as you can see from the new there's still a lot of brake pad left so i've decided i'm gonna reuse it so i just finished cleaning it up what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just put some grease on it some brake grease on the back and put it back and put it back together. I'm gonna reuse the old, I'm gonna um, keep the old ones. But I'm gonna clean it up on the opposite side and do the same thing, put some grease and put it back together. So as you can see right here with the grease, I'm gonna basically just get some grease like this. And I'm gonna apply it to the back of the brake pad. After putting the grease on, I'm basically just gonna slide this back on. Like that. Because I didn't change the brake pads, it slides right back on very easily. But if I used the new brake pads, I would have had to use a C-clamp to push it in, in order for it to fit. But because I didn't use it, it goes right back in. So all I'm gonna do is tighten these bolts up, turn the wheel back straight, put the wheel back on, and head to the next side. Stay tuned so that we can go towards um, the spark plugs. Because I'm just gonna be replacing, because I'm just gonna be cleaning up the brakes and not replacing them, I'm gonna cut the video short, do these up right fast, and jump towards the, the spark plugs again thanks for watching like comment subscribe